abused by my son today. Um, he came out to me and told me that he is a homosexual, and that is a sin, and I was just wondering, could you give me any advice on what to do? Oh. I was um, I was wondering, um, kicking him out and basically putting him in a conversion camp, and if that does not work, I would just like have to, like, kill him. No. <laughs> um. You. You hate the sin. You love the sinner. That's what we always teach. You still love your son. He's still your son. But I can never um, look at him the same. I. That's where you need help from the Lord. <laughs> Um, are you a member of our church? Um, I am not, but after hearing this news and after my friends telling me I should look and seek for new churches, I was wondering if I could join your church. Well, we would love to have you as a guest here if you, um, but we are, I mean, we know what the Bible teaches and, um. The Bible know, says what, no homosexuals. But, that is a sin. Well, yes, but it also says that everyone sins. All of us are sinners. So we have to be very, very careful on, uh, you know, um, you know, just how we persecute people for their sins. I mean, Jesus loved everybody. Jesus loved the prostitute. And, um, yes, you know, I, so we have to be very... We have to be very careful about that, and I understand what you're saying, especially you're probably heartbroken as a mom. Very. Um, but, uh, see, you know, we have, I mean, it, I could try to get someone to call you back regarding this, but unfortunately uh -huh. we don't know you, so I mean, usually if you're a guest of church and we kind of get to know you and, and the problems, you know, you're going through and stuff, yeah. you know, we try to reach out and help and all that, but um, I could try to, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Okay. Just love on him. Okay. Okay. Why don't you, um, do you go to any church at all? Um, recently I left my old church, so I don't. Okay. More than anything, you need to, you need church. You need people Definitely. to love on you and, and you need advice and you need to hear, uh, the word of God. Yes. And Definitely. a lot of times you hear it from the church. Where do you live? Are you close to us? We're near the Grant. We're at the Grant near the Grant Field Station trolley. Um, yeah, I'm area. close. To, I'm close to the Grove, the Grove Church. Yeah. Oh, you're go oh, you're close to the Grove, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Well, why don't you why don't you come to church on Sunday? I w definitely. Go, of we, course. We always have um, we have a, a nine o'clock and eleven o'clock service, and after the service during uh, during our first the the first of the last worship songs we usually sing two songs at the end of service. The first song, we ask people to come up for prayer, and we have prayer warriors up there that will pray with you. And um, if you need more help than that, then we can direct you to somebody to talk to. That, that so sounds amazing. I, that sounds amazing. I think, why don't you come to church on Sunday? Definitely. Could I, like, come with and, my and son? And come, come. Uh, we have a 9-11, and after each service, like I said, come up for prayer. You, we always invite people up for prayer. We have wonderful people up there to pray for people. Brothers. So, what's your name? My name is Lati. Lati? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I normally come for service, and my name is Joe. Okay. Um, but you know what? We have wonderful people here all over looking at, you know, especially if we notice that you're a new person. We just, boom, we, we, we you know, we come, we introduce ourselves, whatever. But if you want to ask for me, I normally come for service. If, um, if I'm not here when you get here and you ask for me, I, like if something happens during the week and I can't make it to a second or whatever, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. just say, yeah, I talked to Joe on the phone and um, I was told to come and that you guys have, you know, um, opportunity to pray, you know, pray with people, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, and they'll, yeah. they'll talk with you and all that. But definitely, definitely, hun, don't shun your son. Um, you're, you're, they're so, we're all sinners. And I think it's wonderful how God did that. I love the fact, and it's really saved me a lot of times, too, with, with friends and family. Wow. Where I, I find myself looking down at somebody like, oh, I'm better than that. But you know what? We're not. 
we're not. And I love what John, the pastor John, says up on stage. He says, you don't feel like you're good enough? Good. Come join us. You know, if you think that you're too good, it's okay. Come join us. We're all hypocritical, too. So come on. You know, I, mean, I just love how he does that. And um, it kind of releases me a little bit when I think about how God set that up, that we are all sinners. Not one of us can throw a stone. Yeah, I the agree The only perfect one is Jesus. So um, just love on him. Um, try to um, not, I mean, think about how hard it was for him to come forward to you. He didn't. It was his boyfriend. His boyfriend came to my house with some videos of them. I kicked the boy out. It was disgusting. The videos oh, he showed me. So his boyfriend is not very um, respectful at all, is he? No, they broke up, I guess. And he showed me so... <gasps> the the no. things I saw, the, porno, the pornographic... <gasps> I Have you talked to Have you talked to him yet? I did Your not. Son? I'm... I just told him I'm his mom is very disappointed at him and I told him that we were we would disown him. This is unacceptable. He needs God right now and he is refusing to speak to everyone in the house and this is just plain rude and disrespectful. Well, the reason he's probably refusing to talk to anybody in the house is because he knows it won't he won't be heard anyways. Um, I'm just lost and I don't know what to do anymore. I know. He I does know. not I'm have so God sorry. in him. I'm so sorry. I can't, I can't imagine yeah. how you're feeling. The only thing um, is if you have a chance to talk to him, um, you, you could tell him, I mean, I am so disappointed in your actions, but you could tell him how much you love him anyways and that you will never disown him. I mean, you can't disown your own son. Um, but, you know, just keep your eyes on how, you know, the relationship you guys used to have. And God willing, you know, uh, maybe he just needs to be loved on and maybe see that what... See, he's he's damning himself. You know, I mean, he is... He's lost. So not only are you hurting, think about how he must be feeling also. Definitely. And, it, it, and, and Satan has such, such a hold on us, us in this world, especially today, um, you know, with, with how everybody's coming out and proud of it. And you have gay day at Disneyland, you have the gay parades, and you have, you know, so much stuff. And yeah. so, you know, but um, yeah, God still, lo God still loves him. My baby remember, boy. God still loves your son. He doesn't. My baby boy is gay. I can't. I can't even See, say it. He's your baby boy. He's still your baby boy, Mama. He's not. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I so maybe cannot. if you get a chance to talk to him, you know, just let him know that you still love him. Uh -huh. And that you want to be there for him, but you just need some help to understand what's happening. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to lose him. You I don't. don't. I don't, but I, I, it feels like I did already. You, but the more you love him, and show him your love, the more you might be able to reach him, too. So try not to talk about that one sin, because we're all sinners. And Lassie, you need to, you need to either go back to your church or come, start, you know, go to church, come to us on Sunday. It's hard, though, because... Get some prayer. Get it's some hard. Prayer. His boyfriend, he, he said that he was going to show... He was going to come and just show all of his friends and family and all of his teachers more and more stuff they did. And I'm just, I'm number one, scared for him. And number two, I just cannot deal with the humility of it. Well, obviously, the mate he has picked in his life, whether a girl or a guy, is not the right one anyways because he's very disrespectful to the family. He really is. And and that's like if your daughter married a husband and he was vile to you guys. It was, it, 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 it's awful. He, you know what? you got to respect your, the families. Yeah. With whoever, you know. So he obviously is with somebody that he shouldn't be, well, for a couple reasons. But obviously his mate is not respectful at all. He's vile. So we, we want to save him from that. We want him to see the love that his family has for him, not the hate. His yeah. mate's probably loving it. His mate's loving it. It's gonna make his. It's gonna make your son cling to him more than ever. Okay. You gotta I'll, fight that with love. You gotta fight that with love, man. Yeah, I'll try. I'll come. So to... incredibly sorry. I'm so oh. so sorry you're going through this. 
Thank you so much, kind woman. But you know what? Don't hate your son. He's I... loved also by Jesus loves him just as much as he loves us. We will see so, when I come yeah. to church. <laughs> and you definitely come to church, okay, hon? Exactly. Um, okay, and I'm Joe. I'm Joe on the I'm at the church, and like I said, normally I come for service. Yeah. So if you come for service, you ask for me, okay? Of course, Joe, of course. Okay. I'll All right. God you. bless you, hon. You, God, you hang on God this week. bless you, good, kind woman. Oh. Well, you keep praying, okay? Keep praying this week. Every keep single day, of course, every single day. I will see you at church. Goodbye. Okay, hon. All right. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> what? What? She was so kind, not gonna lie. That, oh my God. You know, you always see. <laughs> That's this woman.